Are you drunk or something? Fuck. What did you do? So where is she? I have no idea. Someone was here. I think. Damn it. It is getting crazy. Don't touch nothing. We need help. This is Detective DeMarco. So, Bill, my friend, I haven't seen you in what, like five years now? Working for this guy. Yeah. yeah. I think I see why. I'm gonna take a look around if you don't mind. Question all the guests. Make sure no one leaves. Start with you. So, Jack, just a few questions. Where were you when you discovered Miss Jasmine was missing? I was not here. So, can you tell me how long have you known her for? Just met her at the party. And did you touch this? No. Was she wearing this tonight? Yeah, I think she was wearing it. And when you entered this room, were these curtains open or closed? Open. And how about when you came out of the bathroom? Open. All right, that's it for now. So, Bill, do you have any security cameras here? Um, yes, yes, a few. I can send you the footage later if you want to. Let's check it now. Don't see anything interesting. Do you guys see anything unusual? Maybe we can check a bit earlier. Bill? Come on. You know that we paid this girls. She wanted more. You think I'm gonna kill her for some hundred bucks more? Well, no. Do you have her address? Um, yes, I think so. It is uh, 1133 Florence Avenue. Okay, let's check it out. You come with me. Let's surprise her. You cover the front door, I'll take the back. Jasmine? You here? Hey, who is there? Wait!
shouldn't have shot at me. It doesn't even have a gun. <laughs> Good point. It's empty. Fuck you, oh. shut my leg. Next time you won't run. So, now he has a gun. You with me? Hell yeah. Good. seems to be in shock. He didn't give me anything. Just kept repeating the same name over and over. Arthur. Does that name mean anything to you? A hopeless patient of my psychologist. What? You gotta be kidding me. You have a psychologist? It's normal nowadays. Well, normal. I guess that depends on the context. Anyways, we're gonna need to hack your doctor's computer to get more information about this Arthur guy. knows about this? Of course not. But that makes it even more exciting. That thing turns you on? No need to be sarcastic. Anyways, what I need you to do is use this device, plug it into your doctor's computer, and that will give you the password. But it's just going to give you the letters. You need to figure out the order yourself. Yeah, let's trick her. Ah, so it's a lady. You dog. I got you, man. I got you. But there, maybe you've heard of this little thing called doctor-patient confidentiality. We can't just casually ask a doctor about her patient like we're discussing the weather. Plus, Arthur's done nothing wrong except for some childish ad in a newspaper. No. What I'm going to need you to do is to just go to your appointment as usual. Then I'll show up, put the charms on her, distract her, get her outside. That's when you do your thing. Just brilliant. Just do what I told you. Ready to talk yet? Good morning, Jack. Good to see you alive. It's terrible what happened to you. The robbery. Thanks, Rose, but are you okay? I'm, I'm good, thank you. But we are not here to talk about me. Remember, if we want a happier and more peaceful past, we need to create new memories. Koufax is on the mound, he winds. He kicks, and he delivers. It's up the middle, it's a base hit. What are you doing here? Can Richards is rounding here? first. He's going to second. Please, please, please the room. Davis cuts it off in deep center field. Here comes the throw, and he throws. Get out. He slides. Get He's out. in there, he's safe. Hold the security. He it's a base Get hit. Out. Richards is all touch.
my gosh. I wanted to extend my office. Oh, excuse me. I, I didn't mean it. Sorry for the inconvenience. A sorry is not enough. It's okay. I'm used to it, no? Happens every time I'm here. I apologize. This visit is free of charges as a compensation. Okay. Sorry, Rose, but I have to go now. Jack, please be very careful. Hey, you look horrible. Just like your car. Well, it gets me from A to B. So did you find out anything about this Mitchell guy? Nothing surprising. You gotta be kidding me. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Maybe you're one of his obsessions. Maybe. Well, we find out who the blood belonged to on the jewelry for the party. Guess whose it was. Yours? <laughs> no, it was Bill's. Let's go visit Big Daddy Bill. I think I have a brother. Man, you really need that psychologist. He lives here. Where do I apply for his job? Bill! It's me, DeMarco! Bill! I got a bad feeling about this again. Be dead for around an hour. Shot from close range. No signs of a struggle either. The murderer must have been someone close to him. You smell that perfume? Some cheap shit. Life insurance policy. Blah, blah. New beneficiary is Mr. Bill Lambert. In case of accidental death of Jack, one million dollars. You had any accidents recently? Well, I haven't been so lucky lately. Well, I guess we found out what motivated Bill here. And seems like you have an opening in your staff now. Maybe I should send in my CV. Last call by Dr. Blonsky. Let's go check her fragrance. Hurry up, they're coming! Hey man, careful, you're gonna kill her! I know these guys. Wait in the car. Don't worry about the car. It's shit, anyway. Where'd you 
you get your life. Then Oops, just this made that. Where did you get your license? 